Hi family and welcome to this video. I'm tired, I just came home yesterday and I really want to do this video because I just picked up my package that I ordered and I ordered a couple of products from Kaya Cosmetics. And if you don't live in Sweden, maybe you don't know about this brand. This is Kaya Cosmetics. It's a new brand that started last year, I think November, December last year. The founder of this brand is it's Bianca Ingrosso. She's a Swedish blogger. Her mother is an artist and her father is uh, a dancer. She's very popular here in Sweden. She's been on uh, different TV shows and she's a wonderful blogger. I don't really watch her a lot, but I watched this video when she reviewed Kaya Cosmetics for the first time. She just released uh, one palette and a couple of brushes and I think it was a makeup bag or something. Bianca really loves makeup and she knows what's good and what's not. So I was very curious to try her palette. Unfortunately, when I went over to the website, it was sold out. So I waited it to be able, available again. And it, when it was, I wasn't at home. But I ordered my package a couple of days before I arrived. So I knew it would wait for me. And... Um, let me show you the products. This palette is not anything new. I mean, these shades you've seen everywhere, especially it kind of reminds me of Colourpop. Let me show you. It's very nice pack. I really love this shade. Um, it's very nice. I did open it. It says, Saya's palette contains 12 pressed eyeshadows with extremely exclusive pigments created by some of the world's premium coloristas and eyeshadow formulas. The colors are carefully selected and contains of various shades of nudes, warm copper colors and earthy magnificent brown tones. The palette has a wide color spectrum, ranges from bright del uh, delicate shadows to dusty dark tones with a perfect blend of matte, shimmer and metallics. And this is also cruelty free and it's made in Italy. It says, ready, real queens fix each other's crowns. crowns. I like that. And this palette is called, I think it has a name. It's the, what's the name of this palette? It doesn't say on it here. But I know she has a name of this palette. Let me see. What's the call? Bibs Signature Palette. It's Bibs Signature Palette. Is the shades. She chooses the shades that she likes to use for every day. You can go glam or use it for everyday makeup. But I really like the packaging. It's sleek. It's nice. It looks expensive. This palette is a little bit expensive. I think it, it's, it was around 50 something dollars. And it's expensive. But... I hope the palette won't disappoint me. I've seen... Okay. I talked to my sister and I told her that I ordered the palette. And she said, um, did you watch a couple of reviews? And I said, I did. and I, then I told her I did watch a couple of reviews. And the mo all of them were very positive. But then I went over to YouTube again. And I watched a couple of Swedish YouTubers creating makeup looks with this palette or reviewing this palette and a couple of them were bad reviews or I mean the palette didn't really uh, work for them and I do understand and I agree with a couple of them that I, the darker shade let me just open the palette this is the it has a very very nice mirror but this is the palette I really like the shades oh I got two of these that's new <laughs> Um, I really like this palette, but I think it was this shade that didn't really work on a couple of uh, reviews, on a couple of videos. And I, I think this is a beautiful palette. It's nothing special. I mean, it's nothing new. Maybe something you will travel with. So I'm, I'm, I was very excited to buy it because I wanted to try it. And I think Bianca is very beautiful. I really like uh, how she talks about makeup and I do believe her in her reviews so i did want to buy this palette but when i watched the swedish youtubers i can't remember the names doesn't matter but i, I got kind of mad without I even picking up this from post office because one of the girls that tried this palette didn't 
use an eyeshadow primer. And then she was talking during the video, telling, like, if you wonder why I don't have eyeshadow primer, it's because she wants to do a fair test. If this palette can't work with an eyeshadow palette, then it's not a good eyeshadow palette. Which kind of made me a little bit disappointed to hear, because... When do you use an eyeshadow palette without eyeshadow primer? Or, I mean, there are so many eyeshadow palettes, high quality, very expensive, very popular brands that won't work if you don't use an eyeshadow primer. Like, let me say the James Charles palette, Morphe new James Charles palette. I don't have that palette, but I watched reviews and I watched a couple of uh, he, his videos and he said that you should use a... Uh, a tech, a tacky base like um, P. Louise base for that palette to really show true colors. So why would you try a palette without any eyeshadow primer? I mean, it, I don't want to make this video too long, but it, it kind of made me disappointed or a little bit upset. And then another uh, review, the other girl said it was very, some of the shades were du dusty or and they were a little bit powdery. I mean, and she was like, oh, I have some fallout and this is uh, terrible, It's they're powdery. I mean, look at Anastasia Beverly Hills. L look at the Anastasia subculture, Modern Renaissance palette, Soft Glam palette. I mean, all of those palettes are very, very powdery. So for me, the if a shade is a, powdery, a little bit powdery, I don't care. But don't just hate the palette because the shades are powdery and you talk uh, trash about the palette but actually the most eyeshadow palette that you have are powdery i mean i don't know it's just me but i do understand i do agree if a shade like this doesn't really work and um, uh, it's good on the eyes it doesn't really want to blend then it's not a good palette it, or eyeshadow but yeah, I, I just want to say that I'm really curious to try this myself and see if I like it and if it will work on me. Uh, but a couple of reviews were good, a couple of them were not. I just was... Some of the reviews were weird. That's my opinion. That's just my opinion. It's my channel. I have right to say what I want. Okay, so I bought a couple of eyeshadow brushes. I have five of the brushes. The only brush I don't have is the brush for eyebrows because I don't need that. I have so many eyebrows brushes that I don't need that one. But blending brushes, I like that. Okay, so I zoom you a little bit and I opened all the brushes. I have to say, I have a couple of things to say about these. I think the outside packaging is stunning. I really, really like this shade. And also in every on every package, there is a message like for example number five it's this brush it says round blender brush synthetic brush all the brushes are synthetic the large round tape is great for applying color and allows uh, allows is easy to blend <laughs> and allows easy to blending out the harsh lines in no time that's great that you have explanation about how to use it the other thing that i really like about this packaging is that she has also a text or message on outside packaging and it says your have a, in english it is in english you have says you have class let the whole world kiss your ass i think it's so funny i like i love that really love that touch and this shade is my favorite this is like very soft rose gold shade that i really really like and enjoy i think it looks it looks stunning and i really like how it feels heavier on this part of the brush it feels kind of heavy and very easy to use. I like I like the brushes. They are, feel soft. And I'm going to use them to, for the palette. I have five. I'm going to do swatches. I haven't touched this palette at all. I'm very excited to try it here on camera. I love the big mirror in here. I can't pronounce all the names in here. I won't even try. But uh, let's see. I'm going to swatch these four shades. First, oh, they feel very soft. They're a little bit powdery, but at on, I don't mind. They feel very soft to the touch. I like this. I think they are very pigmented. They're very nice. Let's go over to these shades. They feel very soft.
this is like dark gray, not really black. It looks black, but I think it's... I mean, so far, so good. I really like these watches. Really like these watches. I have no complaint for that. I mean, they're swatching very, very nice and smooth. Um... They are a little bit powdery, they feel a little bit, they feel very soft, but I kind of, let me close the palette. I mean, I like it. I mean, it looks very beautiful. Swatches look very nice. So far, so good. I know the swatches are not everything. I don't really trust all the swatches, but it kind of gives me a head of what do I, idea what I have to work with. So I do like watching swatches. I just don't think it's, it's it will tell you everything. So let me just prime my eyelids. I'm going to use Urban Decay. I won't talk anymore. Let's just try it. I'm very, I don't have any makeup on. So I'm um, and I'm going to be fair. I'm going to set everything with some powder. I'm going to use some Linda Halbe powder. Soft powder. Oh, the brush feels very soft. This, but this bright here, we're going to tap in that. And I'm going to use this mirror because I really like this mirror. A little bit powdery. I mean, there is some fallout, but I don't care. This can't really. This one you can't really see because it's my skin shade, but I kind of like it to set everything again. And then I'm going to try to use as many shades as possible. So I'm going to go in with uh, Santa Teresa, this shade here. This brush, number six, a little bit powdery. I really like this brush. And this shade goes on very nice. My, my eyelid's not very, really even. This eyeshadow primer doesn't really cover my veins, but... This eyeshadow goes on very nice. I like it. It is a little bit powdery and dusty, but I mean, it's not w w worse than any Anastasia Beverly Hills palette. Very nice. Buildable. Uh, it's pigmented, not um, too pigmented, so it gets hard to work with. I'm going to go in with this detailed blending, bl detailed blending brush in number four. And I want to go in Stockholm, this shade here, it's a little bit uncreated in my crease, but I'm going to take it just a little bit above my natural crease because I have hooded eyes. And this shade is kind of similar to the first one, just a little bit deeper. And this one is also blending very nice. And I'm going to use this palette the way I'm going using all of my shadow palettes because I don't want to, like some other videos that I watched, people don't want to wet their brushes, don't want to use eyeshadow primers, don't want to use, um, they're not tapping it off because they want to see how good it is. But if, do you, why do you treat your palette differently? I mean, why don't you use it like you use your other eyeshadow palettes? That's fair. I'm going to go in with the same brush and go in this Tokyo shade. This is a beautiful red coppery brown shade. I don't know how to kind of uh, explain. Oh my God, this is a beautiful shade. So far, I'm really liking these three eyeshadow that I've been using right now. And they are kind of blending very nice on top of each other. 
I'm going to go back with this first brush that we had with and not adding any eyeshadow, but I'm just going to blend a little bit above. Blend nice. Okay, then I'm going to take this brush number three and I want to go in. I'm nervous. I'm going to go in Paris, the shade that most of the people had problems with. Also powdery, but let's see if it's skipping. I don't know if you can see it's not skipping on my eye, not on this one. It's kind of going on very nice. I like it. I'm going back with that first brush and just blending everything. I mean, I don't have any problem with this Paris shade. I was very nervous because I've seen people struggling with it. I'm going to go with this brush. This is number two and go in that shade again. Dip it up a little bit here on the corner. No skipping. Let's go to this uh, dark brown, or is it black or dark gray? I don't know. I mean, the eyeshadows are blending nice on top. Going back with this shade, just blending here. I mean, I like the palette. They're blending nice. They're blending nice, no problem. Okay, so I'm going to go in with now I know she said, Bianca said that you can use the, these brushes to put some uh, the shimmery shades on the lid, but you're not going to get that intense shimmer. You're going to have that smooth, nice shimmer. If you want more intense shimmer, do like you always do with any eyeshadow that you maybe use, use your finger. I always use my fingers, but I'm going to go in with this brush just to see what I can do. I want to go in this Mil Milano. Yes, go in with Milani shade. And just, I mean, it's working, but it's not too shimmery. So I'm going to use my finger and go in Milani shade. This is a very nice soft eyeshadow. Looks nice. Okay, I'm going to clean my finger. And then I want to go in in hmm, New York. This shade here, this one, with another finger, and go more here. And it's very nice. I think you can also get, get it more pigmented or more metallic if you wet the brush because I do that with most of my eyeshadows and I like it. Okay, let's go in with this London shade. Looks like a very nice champagne shade with my finger and apply that here. Oh, Ooh, this is a nice shade. I like it and blend it. I like it. I really like how this looks. It looks like an everyday makeup look. Very nice, smoky. I like it. I'm going to take uh, the brush that we had in the beginning, number six. Tap off the excess and go back in that Santa Teresa that we had in a crease together with the slightest shade that we also had and blend the edges a little bit. Okay, so I'm going to finish my face makeup and I'll be back to finish the makeup look and give you my final thoughts about the palette. Okay, I'm back. 
I just finished my makeup look. I didn't set it or anything. I just put my foundation on. I have the Makeup Revolution foundation. This one I do have. Uh, I did set it with these powders. Also my Smashbox Contour Palette and uh, Linda Hardwell lipstick. L'Oreal Life is a Peach blush. That's what I have on today. And also my Nip and Fab eyebrow pencil. Uh, I like how this looks, but I'm going to do something that people didn't really do on the videos. It's to wet the brush and see how these are performing wet. Because I do that. I do that with my other eyeshadow palettes. Why won't I use it like that with this? So, let's go in with this. I'm going to go with the slightest shade that we had. It's called London. And place it on a flat brush. Because they didn't have any flat brush. And I prefer flat brushes. I'm going to use this booster pigment booster but you can use whatever you like and see yeah it goes on very nice it's a very nice everyday palette really like it okay if you have i, I mean if these are not any new shades that you probably don't know don't have don't, know, don't have in your eyeshadow collection i probably have these shades in other palettes but i like this palette let's go in with new york and wet it take the same brush i did clean it once yeah you see Rotation is there. And go in with the Milani shade that we had. That is shimmery, but also not. Kind of very nice satin finish, I can call it. This, shadow, this eyeshadow, very nice satin finish. I need a mirror. Ooh, I like this shade. It's very... I mean, it's there, but also not there. It's something special. You can see it, but you can't really see it. Kind of, I don't know, creates that nice ombre look. I'm going to actually clean this very small pointy brush. And I'm going to go in Santa Teresa, Santa Teresa that we have. I have a pimple here, I don't know if you can see it, this, it's not the uh, eyeshadow that's um, not blending, it's my pimple. It's peeking through. Now when I have my base on, I want to go in with um, something like an eyebrow pencil, but a little bit bigger than eyebrow pencil. This brush, this is number something from Zoeva, two, 322. And I'm going to go in with this S sound bar. I can't pronounce this this shade here on under my low lash line just to see if we can see it and how it's performing with a dry brush. This is it goes on. It goes on very nice. I don't usually go with metallic eyeshadows all the way, but I want to see how this is working. Okay, I'm going to clean that pointy brush again, and I'm going to go in with this Ibiza shade in my corner. See, oh wow, I like this one. Ah, this is what I'm talking. I think this is going to be my favorite shade, and a little bit. Under my eyebrows, not in my eyebrows either, under it. And I like this look. I like it. I'm going to put some mascara on and I'll be right back. Okay, guys, I'm back. I'm uh, sitting here and looking at this makeup look and it turned out beautifully. It looks very natural. It looks very nice. It's an everyday... Whoop. It's an everyday palette that I really, really like and enjoy. I'm definitely keeping my. I didn't have any problem with any of eyeshadows that I've been using. And I think this is a wonderful palette. It's nothing, I mean, color-wise, it's nothing special. It's not something new out there that you haven't seen before. 
but I like the formula of this palette uh, or eyeshadows. I really like how easy they are to blend. I really like these shades. I think these are everyday shades but also have that smoky nice glam look i'm talking a lot with my hands hello 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 uh i i really like this palette and i'm going to keep mine i i really like it enjoy it i think she did a wonderful job bianca did an amazing job creating this palette and she created every eyeshadow with very with beautiful thoughts and thinking of, of placing these shades right in the palette with the undertone of these eyeshadows and also how nice they are. I mean, I really like how they're swatching, really like how they performed on the eyes. I enjoy these palettes. I like it. I like it a lot. I'm definitely going to continue using it. I love, love this outside packaging. Uh, I'm definitely curious to see what is she, what she is, Bianca is going to release in the future and what Kaya Cosmetics is coming out. So probably something new soon. I'm very excited. I'm definitely going to try to put get my hands on those products because I really like these products so far. Also loving all of the brushes. I think these are amazing brushes. I didn't really use this one. The only eyeshadow brush that I didn't use today it's number five. But they are very nice, very soft. I love blending brushes. I never I don't have enough of these brushes. I love the packaging, I love the shade of these, uh, I love how, oh, how nice they feel, how easy they are to use, like it, metallic, like it a lot, I really like these brushes, I'm going to take my new empty and place them here for everyday use, so, I like this palette, definitely something I'm going to continue using, using and okay i know i was kind of very negative in the beginning because i watched a couple of negative reviews i don't usually watch reviews when i'm going to review a palette but that's another story i know everybody has right to say their opinion and the girls that tried it out the people that tried it out they're right it's i mean they it's their opinion they can tell uh, they can say what they feel and how they experience and i did watch the videos the palette didn't really performed the, as good as it did to me uh, with the, my look today. I think it performed, every eyeshadow performed beautifully. I like it. Guys, I mean, uh, I like it. I like it a lot. I think it's a good palette. Is it worth the money? $50. I mean, I paid more for less eyeshadows. So... I think it's worth the money. I think it's worth the money. I mean, packaging is stunning. It feels expensive. The mirror is amazing. The way to it's amazing. The brushes are amazing. I, I think it's worth the money. If you have that money to spend, do it. You can probably find similar shades in other palettes. But if you're trying to figure out if you're going to buy this palette or try it, I don't know. I think it's a good palette. Did he approve so guys i hope you like this video and like this makeup look if you did give a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe and i know you want to subscribe if you're not subscribed do that because next week oh god next week on monday i'm coming out with a big giveaway it's my 2000 subscribers giveaway i know i'm not all there i think i have around 10 more subscribers to get 2000 subscribers but it's going to be um spring and my 2000 subscribers giveaway so i can't wait to film that video i'm still waiting for a couple of products to arrive but if you're not subscribed to my channel do that because i know this is probably not your first video and if it is it's going to be a second one too so don't forget to subscribe hit that like button notification bell so you get notified every time i upload a new video and okay i'm going to end this video right now love you all and see you in my next video bye